I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in Boca Raton, Florida for REITWISE 2014. Joining me today is Sandy Prisant, the chair of the real estate fund practice of Greenberg Traurig. Sandy, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Matt. Good to see you again. Now, tax reform continues to be a hot topic, obviously. What are your thoughts and concerns on what you've seen so far from the proposal and what it might mean for REITs? The two sets of proposals that have come out, even though they're very, very well thought out, um, they, they just really overreach. They're taking away like-kind exchanges for real estate and for REITs, you know, REITs grow or die. So, so to take the, the growth out of REITs by taxing it at, a time, at an inappropriate time um, is, just doesn't make sense, okay? We have corporate reorganizations that are part of America's economy, so to the like-kind exchanges, simply reorganizations of real estate. Otherwise, you keep things parked in companies. And, and you don't get the growth that comes in the economy every time you have a transaction, a real estate transaction. There's no rehab, there's no development afterwards. Um, if you leave it, sit with the existing owners, all that development stops. It sits just where it is. So they shouldn't do that. The FERP to changes they should do. Uh, the FERP to changes are great. That, that anything that, that promotes um, investment in the U.S. by non-U.S. money. Um, as the, the sands of capital shift around the world, you don't want to impede that by tough regulations like FERPTA. So for example, the, the FERPTA changes, which would liberalize it for foreign pension plans coming into the U.S., they would also eliminate the portfolio interest exemption, which is a key to money coming in from places like China and the Mideast. Okay, where we don't have tax treaties. So that's a bad decision. Um, extending depreciation lives to unrealistic levels makes no sense whatsoever. It's simply a, a revenue raiser on the back of the real estate industry. Now, I also understand that, that the IRS regulations could have a, a serious impact on upreads. The IRS in January issued regulations which affect how you allocate basis across partners. Now, the traditional way that upreads work is that somebody with a portfolio of property contributes it to the upreit in exchange for units, does not recognize tax gain until the realization event when they convert to REIT shares and then sell the shares. Uh, what happens if you have a negative capital account, if you have debt in excess of your tax basis, these regulations will prohibit you from contributing them to a partnership because over time you're going to be required to recognize gain. The industry, in response to a bad rule, by the IRS, a bad rule from 91, which says that you need to preserve basis somehow because over time it will burn off and you'll recognize your gain, your inherent gain, whereas if you sit with it, you just sit with it and don't recognize the gain. Part of the reorganization was to allow you to put it in and get enough basis to keep it. And then what people would do is they had to guarantee a piece of debt um, because over time, otherwise, they would recognize gain. So the fiction of doing these so-called bottom slice guarantees, guarantees of non-risky portions of the debt, that fiction came about in response to a rule that is flawed. If you have a position and you have non-recourse debt, okay, and you want to contribute this negative capital account property to a partnership, you have no risk now on the debt and you're not cashing out, why should you be required to recognize gain? And that's what these rules do. Um, the regulations enacted in 91 were in response to a congressional directive, okay, to overturn a tax abuse, and now the IRS is turning that back on its head. Once again, they're doing this at a time in a fragile economy when you should be promoting commerce and real estate, not restricting it. Sandy, thank you so much for your insight. It's a pleasure. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.